everyone. I'm Sister Vasa, and this is just a short coffee break. As we are approaching the Feast of the Nativity, or Christmas, at which Christ is born ever so humbly in a manger, and perhaps even more strikingly, his mother, the All-Blessed Virgin, gives birth ever so humbly in a manger. Let's reflect a bit on this elusive quality or virtue called humility. In the few words we have recorded in the New Testament of the Mother of God herself, she makes mention of humility several times, most famously, perhaps, when soon after she's received news at the Annunciation that she will give birth to the Savior, she says, he has regarded the humility of his handmaiden. Now, we don't know all that much about the day-to-day -day life of Mary, the Mother of God, but every time we do encounter her in the New Testament, her humility is so striking, and we do know that she led a life of prayer and also read the scriptures. This reminds us, zillions, that humility is a gift. It's a gift from God, a state of grace that comes from putting our life in God's care on a daily basis in daily prayer. When we stop relying on ourselves in the largely futile effort to control everything and everyone, then our reaction to things that we'd rather not happen to us is no longer anger, uncertainty, or fear. We have rather the spiritual strength, the grace, the peace, and yes, the humility to survive. But humility is a gift, like I said. So when it eludes us and we notice ourselves slipping into self-reliance and dissatisfaction with people and things we can't control, let's hurry back into the God zone and get connected with him. But that's all I've got for you for today, Zillions, and I hope to see you next time.